We we'll begin with that awful story where a woman is dead and several others injured. This is after two suspects ran from police in a stolen car and then crashed in a, over in southeast Houston. It's so scary. Uh, welcome to the news at five. It happened shortly after 10 this morning on MLK near Van Fleet. Our Fox 26 is Natalie. He is live at the scene. Natalie, you've learned that the woman who died was related to an HPD officer. And that's exactly right. In a tweet, Chief Finner just posted less than an hour ago. It turns out the woman that was killed in the crash is actually the mother of an HPD sergeant. Right now, they're not releasing her identity. Instead, they're asking for privacy. We're told she was stopped right here at this light at this intersection when the suspects crashed into her from behind with a stolen car. I'm devastated. I was robbed on Monroe Road at gunpoint for my car, and this is what it led to. This is the result. Around 8 p.m. Wednesday night, Kathleen Hill says she was carjacked at gunpoint at the 8400 block of Monroe. Uh, that complainant had some type of tracking system uh, working with the dealership. So sometime this morning, she contacted HBD. Police were able to track down her car about 10 miles away and attempted to arrest the two suspects believed to be in their teens or early 20s and armed. But the suspects sped off to the intersection of MLK and Van Fleet. Surveillance video from a nearby gas station then captures the horrific crash as the suspect slammed into an innocent woman's car waiting at the stoplight, killing her. Bien. La policia. Two others were also injured, including Jose Aguilar, who says the suspects were being chased by police. But Chief Finner believes this incident was not a policy issue. His remarks come after HPD has been highly scrutinized following several deadly high-speed chases. They weren't actively pursuing this vehicle. These suspects, and both of them, no regard for anybody, crashed into this lady. If you shot a gun, and you spot it into a crowd, what would the punishment be? We need the same damn punishment when people are fleeing in vehicles because it makes no sense. Now, Chief Finner says he plans on addressing HPD's police chase policy sometime early next week. As for these two suspects, authorities say they're expected to face murder charges. In Southeast Houston, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.